Welcome back to Dorking Tech Tips. Today we will be looking at how to generate a report for your entry system transactions. If you haven't already watched our video on viewing the log of your entry system transactions, please watch that video first at dorking.com forward slash tech tip videos and scroll to the video how do I view the log of entry system activity. Let's get started by navigating to the transaction screen for your account. To do this, click the plus sign next to your account folder on the left. Then click Transactions. Here on the transaction screen, you should see current transactions under the date column. If you are not seeing current transactions, go ahead and click on the Receive Tran icon in the top left to update your transactions list. With your transactions now up to date, to generate a report, click on the report icon in the top toolbar. This will bring up the report generator. The report generator allows you to filter your transactions. To turn a filter on, you will need to check the box next to that filter. I recommend not turning on more than two at a time as this may narrow the search too much and not show any results. Let's go through the different filters. The first two date and time should be easy. Date is the range of days you are looking for and this is a great filter to start with. Time is for the hours you are looking for. I do not recommend starting with this filter if the transaction you are looking for is just a minute outside the specified time you won't get any transactions. The next filter is event. This tells us what was done at the system. There are several things you can search for here. However, most common searches would be entry code, hold begin, hold end, RS-232, modem, directory, and open request. This is another filter I would not recommend starting with for your initial search. The filter NUM, short for number, is a great filter when looking for entry codes, cards, and directories. To use this filter, you would enter the entry code number or card number you are looking for. This will display when that card or code was used. This is probably the second most used filter in the report generator. The name filter is used to find the resident or vendor name. When entering their name, it should be exactly how it is in the resident screen, or the filter might not find it. Most people using the access filter will be searching for denies. Things that can be searched for in this filter are deny, admit, and hold. Searching for deny in this filter will show you when someone is trying to gain access to somewhere they're not supposed to be. The relay filter is another good filter when trying to find out who has gone through a certain door or gate. Here you can search by relay number or if you have named your relays, you can search by the relay's name. If you have not yet named your relays, check out our other video on how do I name my doors and gates in the cloud. The last filter is APB, which stands for Anti-Passback. This feature is used in secure facilities where cards and codes are used to enter and exit the facility. This filter allows you to search for violations of the Anti-Passback rules. This filter is typically not used in normal properties. With your filter selected, go ahead and check the entry system to include. Then select how you would like the report to sort. We'll select by date and ascending. Now click OK to generate this report. Congratulations on running your first successful transaction report. To run more reports, click on the report icon in the top toolbar. Or to see more of our video how-tos, click the link in the top center. And we'll see you next time for more Dorking Tech Tips.